Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 33 of Rubnaut Plays Infinity. So, last episode we did a little bit more automation for thermal expansion. Actually, more or less finished it with our glacial precipitator and between the episodes yeah we have now quite a bit of shiny metal and therefore i made uh, automation that's in lyrium and i also did the automation for uh, bliss powder i don't remember why i did it but pretty simple we tell him just with two redstone and one snowball and filtering it so that snowballs going into the fluid transposer and redstone goes into magma crucible and the same goes with buckets and redstone or ender pearls so we can actually also do buckets of redstone if we should decide to do signalum and i automated or upgraded our machines to resonant ones and also placed the max speed modifier so it's 20 times the RF they are sucking quite a lot about 800 RF a tick and so does those machines over here and I also made a few of the deep storage units actually I teach the crafting or the computer system how to craft them and then yeah I crafted them so deep storage units let's take a quick peek pretty easy just some reinforced strong boxes and a resonant energy cell frame which is redstone energy cell frame surrounded by indarium which is just some electrum and hardened glass and some other stuff and also the reinforced strong box of course hardened strong box and with invar the normal strong box actually i taught my system how to make the hardened strong box directly because well who wants to have two patterns if you can have one yeah and then of course plastic and that brought me to my next step that i want to do the automation of where is my i have to put an elevator here yeah i have to do it few squids we have to automate our farms over here i place a few saplings of rubber trees in there and let him run overnight and already re removed all the cabling which was down here so that we can now automate stuff but then i run into another problem we need to color our cables otherwise i will get completely confused and therefore doping and doping will happening which it will still probably happening but yeah so i prepared this little area over here where we can make some automated metal balls with a transfer node a bucket and a bucket so lava placing here water here transfer node goes there and now let's actually place this back here so that i can take a look here actually if i place you there you shouldn't connect and put you in there and not destroying items but condense into metal balls yeah so you should actually start condensing go on and of course i forgot the world interaction upgrades yeah i made 64 of them so placing you back bam and you should now get you and not you should make him con yes and he is also making them pretty fast so actually we will now also need level emitter come on and the import bus should be already in yeah there you are come on 
Actually, uh, redstone cards wouldn't be something wrong. Redstone cards. We should probably teach our system how to make them, but... Bleh. Well. So, the level emitter is ready. Now let's come up here, replace you away. We need some normal cabling over to here and we will place a level emitter here and you there and you are probably not working on him. Probably not. So three of you always active, active without a signal. And you are still in parking. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So you should be maybe... Actually, let's remove you for a second. Get my level limiter back. Let's place you there. And you can be... Really? So you can be up there let's place back you and if we connect you you shouldn't start yeah yeah nice so we just tell him give me a meta ball or five let's place them in there we want about a thousand yeah Emit when levels are above. Yeah. When levels are above or equal to 1000, he stops importing and he should then stop doing. And if we want, we can change him to condense into singularities, which we maybe will need later and not destroy, but we want for the moment meta balls. So, meta balls, what do we do with them? We can use them to color our cabling, but first we will need, I always forget the name, color applicator or something, probably, where are you, charged stuff, there you are, color applicator, yeah. So we should be able to do any of those. So let's teach, well, actually, no. We don't need to teach him because we need to conserve a little bit of space. I had to make a second interface tower because the first one was already full, yeah. So, core, we want one of you. Come on. What's taking us along? Ah, we should probably speed up somehow process of crafting. Wouldn't be a bad idea. So we need one of you. We need applicator was uh, 4K and an energy cell. Energy cell you can't make really. So let's really quickly some dust. We need four of you. Bam. It's that. And a 4k should be doable by our system. Hopefully, meh, it will take a while. So let's also make a chest, but we want an and each chest, where are you? There you are. So we have missing really the a normal terminal. Terminal we should be able to craft. Nice. So you are waiting also on processors. But our thing should be done. Color applicator so we can make you nice so me chests 
Nice. Now, what do we do with that stuff? Well, we have to find somewhere where we can give him power and maybe we can place him here. And on the bottom, we place our color applicator. Bam. And now let's get some metal balls. And we can use them with dye to paint them in a specific color. And that means we will have some lapis. We have a lot of that. So let's make 24. Uh, half a stack should be enough. Let's also get some bone meal. Half a stack also should be enough. And now let's place them in there get our color applicator. We have now 24 of 512 bytes used. And where is my infuser? There, go in there, you are full. Perfect. And now if we come down here and I was thinking about having dense cable here in a white color. Are you really right? Yeah, probably you are. Mm. You look somehow really strange and not white. Some grayish color, maybe? Hmm. But if we change blue... Yeah, you are also... Maybe the texture pack is doing something that I don't want him to do. But, nah. We can somehow... Yeah, we can see which color it is. I was actually hoping for better coloring. <sighs> but let's get some more of each metal balls because we can store quite a bit of them. So let's do another sack and another sack and some lapis, some more metal balls. Mm, so he will take a bit of time. Actually placing you in there and also you. So we can applicate 196 white and only 28 color. So dense cable coming up to here. Suck. And all over there. You are replaceable. Bam. And color applicator I forgot upstairs. Come on. Tuck. Clear. How are we? Yeah, not terribly. So let's get some more blues. Come up here and color it blue. And of course you can use all the colors that are available for cabling with our awesome thing here. The color applicator yeah. doesn't look too bad. Well, actually pretty bad, but meh. So now comes the clue. We want to have energy and items over there. So let's place you down here. Color applicate you. Get you over to here and do I have a conduit? Probably not with me. Conduit should be doable, should be doable with any RF producing thing. But let's snag some ducts. Mm, the leadstone, where are you? Let Really, leadstone, energy thingy, duct, so one of those should work. So if we come here, 
and let's test you. Nice, you are now a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel RF. So we have now access to all the RF storage and of course he can transfer at the moment only 20,000 RF a tick. But if we need more to come out, well, we can hook up multiple peer-to-peer -peer lines. So let's go on the outside and place down some more dense cabling all over the place. Coming all over here and no, I didn't want you to be there. So you come with me and also you don't need to be there. Blue cabling so that we know this will be our peer-to-peer -peer connections. So I want to have white lines for data and blue lines for peer-to-peer -peer connections. Which means we can now... Hmm... Actually we need a little bit more dense cabling. So let's do it and dense cable make a stack. Yeah, why not? because we need, whoa, quite a bit more glowstone. We have two, really? Yeah, yeah. So something needs to happen. Probably, actually, let's do it with normal cabling for the moment. We should have enough channels, probably, maybe. Not sure, so we need two here, four, six, and eight maybe maybe Oops. so I didn't want to do that so of course I forgot something down at our controller area which would be placing down a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel over to that and then a smart cable to here and we also will need where how is it called ah, i always forgot those things applied and logistics some cards uh, memory cards yeah there you are and of course a processor is missing and it's a uh, calculation one calculation cook you up which should take a moment, maybe a bit more. Come on. Yeah, we definitely have to speed this up. Definitely. Whoa, nice. Finished. And you come here, give me that. Perfect. So first of all, I want to have some data lines over there, but also electricity. Should I make a second memory card? Nah. So, if we shift right click on the peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, he saves the settings and if we normally click on a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel, he loads the settings. But first, of course, I forgot my interfaces. As usual, doping around interfaces. I thought I made five? Really? Are you kidding me? I had five interfaces made already pretty sure I didn't use them but of course this will take a quick moment so let's whoa, get confused a bit and dope around more some more so we want first of all our data line to come over here there and coming branch up to here and dying of no water have or actually too much water nice and dum 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 the cable should only not need to go 
over here, so come with me. Let's get a some fresh air. And also one should come out on this side, pretty much over here. Uh, one. Yeah. I need some aqua affinity somewhere on my gear. Should take a quick peek at that, but meh. So, how are our interfaces? didn't want to do that but our interfaces if I spell them correctly should be done nice let's place down some interfaces over but first of course we need you to be the peer-to-peer -peer tunnel which is loaded here and a second one which will be energy nope so actually the thermal dynamics are not working so we need to use you nice you are coming out with rf over to here and i should have snagged a little bit more stuff here but meh so you will come out in an actually yeah an interface over here no actually <sighs> come to me and because of course we have also to transfer the items we will need cabling coming out here going over to here actually just over there there comes an interface and again dying of health air problems it's getting a little bit tricky to work down here yeah so where are and i didn't bring them yeah prepared also a few translocators translocator we need two we will need some diamond nuggets And we will need some soya beans or soy seeds. We will need lettuce seeds. And we will need some tomato seeds. Something else. Don't remember what we need for burger. This is the Lux cheeseburger was actually lettuce and tomato and you were cheese. Cheese is just milk and yeah. So you were the raw beef, you were the bread, so we also will need some wheat. Eh. Do we have seeds? Probably a lot, yeah. Nice. Now that we have you, we can place down you over here and you over here. Get you a golden nugget and you shouldn't need one, but let's place them because we should have a few diamonds laying around so you will be removing all this and all of you and you will be told after I get some air that you should always keep two of them two of them and two of them and two of nope only two. Come on. And you should also keep one of those, one of those, and one of those. 
And keep one of those. Nice. We will tell him keep a potato just in case we ever want to do it. Actually, I'm already dying. Come on. So now you should do your thing as soon as I hit you with an empty hand. Bam! He transferred the items. Nice! Of course, now let's remove you. So one will go here, one will be here, one... Nope! Yeah! That just happened. <laughs> I was hoping I... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, a little bit of a derp here. Come on, let me get my stuff. So, if I do that, I should be able to get everything, maybe, before I die. Again. Ooh. So my armor on you, you come in there, and we should be ready. Where is my pickaxe? Really? You probably dropped down here somewhere, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, so one, two, three, and let's get up really quick, otherwise we will die again. Which isn't good. Dying is never good. So you, you, and you, bam, nice, going out again, now I should have brought some other stuff over some conduits, we need you, and we will need a few of you, you can go away. And yeah, so coming over to here, you, you go there, you can go away, come here, we will place down some energy cabling, over to this one, and of course we will remove this one. Come on. You. Perfect. Now let's place you down here. And then having you on extract. Always active. And now let's run some cabling over to our interface and input it into that. So interface inserts. Nice. So you should actually probably let's remove you for a second. And of course I'm killing some soya beans here. But I don't care. <laughs> so you should do your thing. Idle work. Yeah. And you of course also need energy. So Let's place down some more cabling to here. Bam! And now you should do your thing. Maybe, probably, hopefully. Come on. You are off. Consume stack on. I will not care. You don't get any energy because we of course have to also memorize him for energy. So you shift right click, save settings, and one of those days I will get an elevator over to here. Really, promise. So you are loading settings and now he is doing his thing. And why are you not planting stuff here? Really? Do we really need to manually hoe you? Aye, aye, aye. Nope. So, hoe we don't have. Have we a metoc? 
Nope. Probably in our back. Uh, yeah, there you are. So let's place you and you. And you should get some soybean crops. Probably, maybe. Hopefully. And now let's do something similar over here. But of course, because we don't need to extract, we only will need... Let's get a peer-to-peer. -peer. Where are my peer-to-peers? There you are. Not dying would also be nice. So peer-to-peer -peer over here and here. And you are an energy one connecting over to here and here and here. And some item lines coming down there, there and there. And now we should be able to hook you up. Nope, not item. I wanted ME. Oh, oh, oh. Not dying. Not dying, please. Let's get you back to an ME one. Perfect. So let's kill you. Come on. And you should be placed there. So you should get a channel after I first load the settings over at U, the RF one. And of course now, coming down, where are you, there you are, saved settings, bam, and over to the ME1, which is here, load settings, and if we place down into you a few seats, bam, sucked out, yes. So you suck out always items and you input them into there. Nice. So also you should be automated. Do I have another void pipe? Void fluid pipe. Nice. So he should work a little bit faster. Bam bam. Yes. Perfect. Kind of debating if we maybe should do an irrigation system. Or maybe it will be time for a reinforced watering can. Maybe. But we should not need it. Nah. Actually, let's not do it. So, over at our tree farm we of course also want some stuff to be happening. So you come with me all over to here. Perfect. So you actually... Hmm. We have now a little bit of a problem because he is completely centered here, which I kind of don't like. Yeah. Let's remove you quickly. Really? And you should be finished, yes. So let's get some air and we will need an interface, a few more peer-to-peer -peer tunnels. So first peer-to-peer -peer tunnel should come out here, an energy one, and the second one will be over to here, actually, yeah, you come here, not dying, please pretty please so you will come all over to one 
farther there. No, of course. Where are my translocators? Yeah. Before I die. Yeah, we have to do wireless, guys. Probably next step, wireless. So, I needed translocators. Let's snack all of them. Then, and then, then. So, you come here and here. And where is my diamond nugget? Here. And we need a few saplings. Yeah, that's why we need wireless pretty much now. Yeah. Yeah, we need it. So we need saplings. We want you, you, and you. Let's tell him he should always keep maybe a stack. I don't know yet. So, no! Actually, he's not connected yet. Luckily, one of each of you, one of you. Actually, let's do five, five. And five. And in here we will remove everything. Also you. Actually we want you to be here. You to be in the middle. And you can be there. Nice. So he should start planting and as soon as we hit yeah i should have done it before i went rush or rushed back over to there but you know me always running forth back and forth to do stuff which i could have done in one way yeah so you will be loaded and you need energy, so you come to... Actually, we also will need you. So, energy and item. Bam, bam. And that comes all over to here. Where is my interface? Perfect, so you are disabled. You are inserting. And now some energy over to our machine. Hopefully I have exactly enough. Yes. Normally, of course, always one short, but sometimes we get lucky. And where is my energy? Nope. Is over to here. So save settings. And loaded settings. Perfect, so you should get energy. Perfect. So you should start to do your thing. Perfect. And you should have stuff. Perfect, perfect. But you are not doing... Because probably you need to be... Yeah. Nice. So, getting stuck there. Nice, 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 nice. He is planting stuff, which is always pretty awesome. And it's also growing. And now he sucks out stuff. Perfect. So, we automated our farms. So, pretty much the same will go for our witchery farm. 
but I won't do that now on camera because you saw it now three times and a fourth time. Yeah, yeah. So let me take a quick peek what we need or if we have enough stuff for a wireless terminal and probably prepare a few things and I know you will be back in just a second. Okay, so having again a lot of fun and we are at 40 minutes. What? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, for now, I think we did a pretty good job automating our farms and next episode maybe I will tweak a little bit, get some glowstone to have some more dense cable to where we actually want to have it, not just over to here. So we have six channels now at the moment and of course that's pretty much awesome coming all over into this line where we may have a few channels but I don't know exactly. Probably we should have done some white cable coming down but yeah guys let me do that next episode let me show you how we could do have done this a little bit better and for now i hope of course you also liked this episode and of course if you did i would appreciate a like and if you are new to the channel you could maybe consider a subscribe would be nice from you and if you want to know something about something just leave it down in the comments and i will try to respond as soon as possible to any answer that you told me or asked me so for now guys thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye mm, essence berries